How to make Dada. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're at London's top Malaysian restaurant, Awana. Head chef Mark Reed is going to show us how to make Dada, which are pancakes with a sweet coconut filling. Step 1. You will need For 6 pancakes, take 200 grams of plain flour, 1 egg, 1 teaspoon of salt, 150 millilitres of water, 6 pandan leaves, these sweet nutty leaves are available from your nearest Asian food store, and 2 teaspoons of glutinous rice flour. And for the filling you will need 100 grams of dark brown sugar, 200 grams of desiccated coconut, 200 millilitres of coconut milk, 40 grams of caster sugar. Here are those lists again. You will also need to use the following utensils. A whisk, a sieve, two bowls, a small frying pan, a saucepan, a measuring jug, a liquidizer, and a knife. Step two, pandan water. Wash the six pandan leaves one at a time. Hold each under running water and slide the leaf between your fingers. Stack the leaves together and chop them into smallish pieces. Put the pieces into a liquidizer and then add 150 milliliters of water. Place the lid on firmly and grind. Start on a low setting and if it gets clogged, give it a gentle tap. Then switch to high once the leaves have begun to break down. When the leaves are completely blended with the water, Strain them into a bowl and use a spatula to squeeze all of the liquid out of the pulp. Throw away the pulp and you will be left with the green, highly flavoured pandan water. Step 3. Mix the pancake batter. Into a bowl, put 200 grams of plain flour, 2 teaspoons of rice flour and 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix up the dry ingredients. Add the egg and gently start whisking. Then pour in a little of the prepared pandan water and beat well. Add a little more of the water and keep whisking. When it's of an even consistency, pour in the remaining pandan water and continue beating. Gently lift the mixture through the whisk to make sure there are no lumps. Alternatively, running the mixture around the sides of the bowl is another effective way of finding any remaining chunks. Whisk until smooth. Step 4. Mix the filling. Pour 200 milliliters of coconut milk into a saucepan. Add 100 grams of dark brown sugar, 40 grams of caster sugar, and 200 grams of desiccated coconut. Mix well. Step 5. Get cooking. Put the saucepan over a high heat until the sweet coconut mixture begins to simmer. Then reduce the heat and allow the mixture to stew for about 5 minutes. Stir occasionally to make sure it doesn't burn. Meanwhile, preheat the frying pan over a low flame and transfer the batter into a jug to make it easier to pour. Dip a kitchen towel into a little oil and wipe it around the pan. This will prevent the batter from sticking. Pour a little of the batter into the centre of the pan and tilt it in circles so the batter covers the base. Keep the batter moving until it solidifies. Wait until the middle starts bubbling, then quickly flip the pancake over to cook the other side. Again, when the middle bubbles, it's cooked. Remove the pancake and place it to one side. Check back on the filling and give it a good stir. It should be beginning to dry out. Reoil the frying pan with the paper towel and start on the second pancake. You should have enough batter to make six. When the filling has lost the majority of its moisture and it takes on a more paste-like, sticky consistency, turn the heat off. Step six, add the filling and serve. 
Take one pancake and lay it on a flat surface. Spoon a small amount of the mixture down the center. Fold each side over, wrapping the filling. Carefully place it onto a serving plate with the join underneath. Simply repeat this with the other pancakes. For a finishing touch, dust over a little icing sugar. Done.